Hey everyone, this is my Patreon pod reaction to the second episode of Shimonetta. Now, last episode, we had really established our organization, our freedom fighting organization, Socks. And we showed the populace of the school some interesting insect based entertainment with a quality voiceover. And I think we're starting to do pretty good work, you know? These uh, students, they might start to think about some things and maybe go home and ask their, their parents certain questions. Who knows, really? But uh, the point is, it's a fight worth fighting for, and we shall continue to fight that fight. So, it's good to know. Uh, I do. Before I get into this, I do want to say that uh, the version of this that I'm watching, it technically has two subtitle tracks. And with the first episode, I watched it with the, unsub the uncensored subtitles. And it occurred to me that that might be a bit too spicy for YouTube, so for this time I'm going to have it set up to where the subtitles that appear down here are the censored ones, while the ones that I actually see are the proper uncensored ones, you know. I don't want to give YouTube an excuse to, you know, throw copyright, or not copyright, uh, community guideline strikes at me, you know, because YouTube likes to do that, it's its biggest hobby, really. Well, like, top three in their biggest hobby lists, but... So anyway, yeah, it was a good start to the show, so let's get into it and see what we're going to get with this episode. So, three, two, one, play. <laughs> yes, it really was. No, I think that was fitting. That was a good way to put it. Yeah, did you not have fun? Solid life advice, though. Life fortification. That alliteration. Uh, you're supposed to eat that, not violate it. <laughs> no, it's objectively dirty. Well, you know, baby steps. What did he draw? <laughs> well, it's not exactly the same thing, but... Yeah, I couldn't expose Anna to, to something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that was a fun event. Would have liked to have seen that. Eh, give it time. You'll get used to it, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, that's... Pretty much exactly how what it's pretty much exactly how it was. No, don't destroy the Alasoft game. Toshi and Toshi. I think it was. Oh no, not the figures. Uh this is never easy to watch. And even the pool that's famous for all the AV shoots. But I'm okay with that one. But the figures, at least leave them alone. They they're pure, they did nothing wrong. Yeah, we think this is the first time we get our opening. And what an opening it is. Because <laughs> we got the ED last time, but not the opening. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm almost positive now. Yeah, wake up. And uh, don't let anyone see that. What did I tell you, Tadokichi? <laughs> At least take care of it before you leave the door. <laughs> uh... The thing she carries, she carries with her. <laughs> this girl is just too much sometimes. And don't worry, Anna. That happens to the best of us. No harm in enjoying it. Just don't go full, uh, full code Geass, and you'll be fine. Uh, really forgot just how how uh, interesting this opening was. SOS. <laughs> that girl. Everyone's got their equipment. Mysteries of Pregnancy. Oh, are we going to solve those finally? 
Because I have my notebook ready to take notes about that. Yeah, that's going to be hard to explain because it's not even technically all that lewd. <laughs> no, something far better. Get your words right. <laughs> I don't understand. What was the insect supposed to prove? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we all know you know you understand these lewd things, so. Don't need to point your gorilla fingers at me. Yeah, she knows all about that, you know, because she was nearby. And it does explain why he was glaring at him when he literally didn't have never met him before. I just love Anna's confusion, though. Like, I don't understand what, like, what, what's, what, what happened there. Uh, our good father-son bonding here in the bath. Just looks painful. Why would you even do that? Teach him the valuable lessons, I see. I'm really glad we don't have that actually detailed, animated. But no, now I'm a mature adult, I... <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, just yell that. That won't get cops on you at all. <laughs> well, if you're just trying to spread protection, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't, don't look at him, he'll corrupt you. Well, don't blame the lewdness. It did nothing wrong. It's society that's at fault. <laughs> then I met Anna, the love of my life, and she cleansed my existence. And it was great. Like, no, you're just a random kid. I, I don't know. I look forward to him getting to know Anna a little bit better. <laughs> yes, that's got to be very enjoyable. No need to lie, we're all we're all cool here. I uh, don't be that way. <laughs> Okay, I like the plan already. A treasure map with the best treasure of all. <laughs> Let's fan those flames. Might even say below those flames. Yeah, that's why you gotta hide the good stuff. Yeah, the problem with everything being digital is that it's very easy to censor. But you can always hide physical stuff somewhere. It's just so sad to see such quality stuff getting destroyed. That sounds like literal, literal hell. Can't believe anyone survives living in this world. Yeah, I bet you could sell, sell it for a lot of money. So what do we got here? What uh, what type, even if you know what I mean? What do we got? Gotta keep it safe. <laughs> I think he likes what he found. 
No, there's nobody here. You could do a quickie real quick, you know. A quick read. I don't know what I meant to say. Uh, no, it's got to expose a little bit more than that for me. Oh. <laughs> I gotta love how these are hidden. Like, huh, blank piece of paper. What's this doing here? Oh, wow. That's not blank at all. The purity. <laughs> Because you're, uh, you're weak. Huh, Fua. Uh, have you solved the mystery yet? <laughs> well, you know, they... They just, uh... Yeah, plenty of people were delighted by all that. Some people weren't, though. Yes, use your own flies. Yeah, she knows them. <laughs> Leg spasms, huh? Yeah, be careful. <laughs> I guess 53 knows what he's doing. Yeah, it strongly implied that. Maybe we could use, maybe we could have some kind of demonstration, example, practice. <laughs> that is so messed up. You know, when you wave to people. <laughs> yeah, why can't technology be used for good? <laughs> This is not okay. Because nobody stood up and said no until they came for what they cared about and by then it was too late. Yeah. Every life is really not far off from any of this, so... I see we got some more pure works of art on the wall. I'm not sure he's paying attention to what you're saying right now. That's a mushroom. That was a banana at first. And I'm pretty sure that's a mushroom. About that painting, I quite like it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cute. Yeah, do you have anything you want to say about that? <laughs> but I thought it was a nice drawing. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with it? There's no problem here. You just, you got a dirty mind. Like, like she, I am, I said. <laughs> a bit too much. There's also a bit of an issue with where it's located. But. Well. <laughs> you're a gorilla, so. Oh no, you didn't have to destroy it, it was still a nice picture. Yeah, we should educate her. Sure, we have lots we could teach her. Well, yeah, they're involved in a secret organization together, so. Oh, <laughs> she's outing you, I am a. <laughs> Again, I'd like to have seen that. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, you, you can't just do that to the student council president. You really have to struggle that much to detain her. You're quite a bit bigger than her. Yeah, I'm sure it was not this lively, lively before. <laughs> oh, yes, you can, and we will. Yeah, she kind of did win that battle. 
I mean, she's not that perfect if she can't decipher the true intentions of a work of art. It's episode two. What are you talking about? Yeah, we got to put a stop to this. <laughs> of every PTA. <laughs> Can you do that? She sounds like a last boss to me. Well, that is that is definitely too far, like without a question. It's always just the beginning. Yeah, typical. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not have people know about that. Not that I do that, but. I love, I love the statistics that added. Yeah, I, I do that. Just different morals than some other people. That's a scary thought. Well, yeah, if you're a pure innocent girl, then, you know, there's anything wrong with that. You know, girls are allowed to enjoy mushrooms. Well, I request that she doesn't. You can't eradicate the obscene. It will eventually consume you. Well, you're not thinking hard enough. Because <laughs> uh, there's something in, in there? But will it be gentle, though? Straightforward. <laughs> yeah, and Devin up with that in his mouth. I mean, not really. Isn't everyone? <laughs> well, you have to prove it, I guess. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's really not that effective of a plan. I think we could do better. Well, wow, a lot of these pop ups. We can imagine. Oh. <laughs> okay, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> uh, the things that she gets him to wear. Like, nurse's outfit. Panties on the face, the wig, just, uh, so horrible. That skirt is far too long. <laughs> well, I guess our plan became the decoy plan. And this one is especially hard to understand, I don't blame you at all for not getting this one. Protect the urine at all costs. We just where we draw the line. No further. That voice. That is not a convincing girl voice by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> I just can't handle that voice. Uh Yeah, we're we'll teach you some good stuff coming in.
Maybe the worst girl voice I ever heard. <laughs> uh, I can't decide if this was funny or just uh, really just unsettling. We do have to solve this mystery, so. Yeah, you guys can't be too close because that's how babies are made. Nobody there has to be fooled by that voice. Like, surely nobody's fooled. How is that blue tundra? What are you? Are you? Have you finally lost it? Yeah, like objectively, like there's nothing on his face, so <laughs> like I'm about to corrupt some youth. This is great. Not often you get into positions like this, so. And usually if you do, you end up in jail not too long, not too long after. We use, oh! Ma! Come on, in is next. Mm -hmm. We're almost there, we just got a co left. Oh no, he didn't even get to finish it. I almost got to the end of the Omanko, but, uh, oh well. Well, we'll continue class next time, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. Make sure to take notes on today's lesson. Oh no. <laughs> oh, wow, Anna, you are on the ball. Yeah, we make it to see that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that didn't work out for her. Jeez. Are you even human, Anna? <laughs> well, yeah, this she is terrifying. I I believe it now. Uh, a little bit too late, <laughs> but now I want to get on her bad side or her good side, really. Oof. Well, we escaped. I think. Let her find us on the roof. Oh God! Oh geez, she just took the door off. <laughs> dude, stay quiet, dude. Probably isn't okay to do that damage to school property, but I guess we'll ignore that for now. Uh, what's our plan B? Don't. Oh, that was her. Okay. It'd be pretty stupid for his phone to go off or something at that moment. Okay. Yeah, that's the real one with the real girl voice. The real Amanko as well. See, that's how you do it. Friggin' Takunichi, that's how you do it. Yeah, and somebody saw all of that, so you may have a, may have a new issue on your hands. <sighs> but yeah, Anna, she is just Maybe she should be like a disciplinary committee leader rather than a student council president. Gotta love socks. Shoes are much more uncomfortable to wear without them, so. I mean, really, there's a lot of words that you could just slightly move things around and make it a lot looter. Monaco, which is of course very close to another word that was said in this episode. Whew. Of course, you never know we're gonna. You, you, you know we're never gonna get a scene like this in the show itself because obviously Anna and Blue Tundra are enemies. But it's funny to see. I 
Where exactly is that camera positioned at? Yeah, why does she have that razor? I... Yeah. Okay, that was the second episode of Shimoneta. And yeah, like I said, the, the Sox organization has to continue their, their good work. And, you know, Fua, Fua... I think her name was Fua. She's continu continuing to work towards uh, learning about these mysteries of pregnancy. Because her flies were used in the demonstration, so she's like, okay, so... Uh, I learned a little bit from this, so I guess humans also do this combining thing. So, can you, like, uh, you know, explain any of these details to me? But he never does. He just always just runs away before he can ever actually explain anything to her. And then he goes off and then tries to explain the stuff to people that never asked. So, you know, it's kind of funny how things work out, I guess. Speaking of funny, one of the funniest things is Anna putting up a lewd image on the wall while being completely oblivious to how lewd it is. That is some... Great A stuff right there. Especially when he realizes it and has to, like, bring it, find out, you know, try to decide how to bring it up to her. Like, Anna, my sweet pure angel, uh, about that image up there, maybe you, like, shouldn't have it up there because reasons? Like, what, what do you mean? It's it's a fine image of a girl enjoying a snack. Like, I, what's what's the problem? Like, it, you're telling me this is a lewd image? Can't explain. Like, how how is it a lewd image? There's... You know, it's just fully clothed. I, I, I don't see the issue. So, that was that was pretty funny. And I mean, you know, but like, how do you explain? How do you explain without corrupting her? That's that's the tricky part. But in the end, we just burned it anyway. So we also got a little bit of insight into Tadokichi's past about his father. I mean, we already knew the general idea of the reputation he had. But we got to see that, you know, father and son were pretty close. And uh, he did like the dirty jokes similar, similar to Ayame when he was younger. But that incident kind of ruined it for him. So it's kind of Ayame's job to get him back into it. You know, appreciate dirty jokes once again. And want to fight a similar fight that the father would have wanted to fight if he was still around. So it's kind of where we're at. Just, it was just hilarious the things the father was yelling as he was running up there on Capitol Hill. <laughs> Just, I don't want to say those lines out loud, but, uh, like, fight for all the dirty jokes in the world, let us live and love them, but he just, he was arrested, so, gotta, gotta keep the fight going. But it led to a very unpleasant childhood, until he met Anna, and then everything got well again, because she's just a pure angel that just shines and improves anything <laughs> that she looks at. But yeah, we also found a little bit, learned a little bit more about the details on how things have developed from the like legislations and the PM and stuff like that, and how things just gonna get worse. And as they just add more rules and regulations and preventions on things, and it's just it's our job to stop it, pretty much. Like, and Anna's mom is kind of the main perpetrator, so that complicates things a little bit. But at the same time, it gives us kind of a connection to that woman, so it could make it easier to fight, I guess. Maybe especially if we could get Anna on our side, that would be invaluable. But since she's like the, the beacon, the top tier of the purity, like they may be tricky to do. But if we could, she would be an invaluable ally if we could get her on our side. But that that could be a hard fight. But yeah, basically there's no more like printed printed loot stuff around. It's all been burned and destroyed. Except for hidden little pockets that we looked for in this episode and we found. We did find it, so that's good. As you know, not all of it will be destroyed because this is this kind of stuff is important to people. They will stash it. They will hide it. I mean, even even you know before the age of the internet and stuff, where everything was just on your hard drive, you know, uh, teenagers were pretty good at hiding their their stash under their pillow or under their mattress or wherever. So if things should have made illegal, you would yeah definitely tap. You would definitely hide the stuff. So that kind of goes without saying. And gotta love them just like stash it around school, random places. Let's see what else? Uh... But yeah, basically their plan today was just to educate the students on where babies come from, which is a very important thing to know. You know, otherwise you might actually make one yourself. That would be that would be un un unlucky. So protect the urine might be the best line of the episode, though. 
But yeah, Tanukichi got himself into a pretty good position. He got to stand there in front of a bunch of innocent, you know, easily corruptible students. And he got to stand up in front of them with a pointing stick, dressed up in uh, interesting cosplay. And basically, slowly at his own pace, just just corrupt them. So yeah, you can tell how excited he was getting about this. But he didn't quite get to come to its conclusion. They only got as far as Oman, I believe. And you could, I mean, a normal person could assume how it would end, but they wouldn't know what the final the final hiragana would be in that case. But maybe they'll figure it out eventually, if they have time to think about it. But even that's only half of the formula. Like, if you want a baby, you have to have the other half of it, which you didn't actually get to. So they'll have to save that for next time, I guess. But yeah, he definitely had fun there. And yeah, we ended off with the chase. The chase was some scary stuff. Like, I mean, we had Ayame talk about how honest can be scary when you get serious or whatever she said, but like, seeing it itself in front of you, that was some, yeah, you probably had some second thoughts about doing this kind of thing again after that experience, just pulling up the rope and jumping down a flight of stairs and most, most importantly, just slamming the door off the hinges on the roof. That was a real, that was a real kicker. That's the kind of thing that would cause you to wet yourself if she was after you. <laughs> Uh, which would kind of be counterintuitive to her mission of protecting a urine, but still. It would be very involuntary. But luckily, you know, we were able to save her by, you know... We basically have two blue tundras, a fake one, a real one, so anytime she gets too close to one of them, you can just have the other pop up somewhere else, and pretty smart. And we had a certain artist that saw the whole thing, so I'm sure next episode she'll talk to them about that. I'm sure that could be a fun conversation. But just, just his female voice was just so bad. Like, I do a terrible female voice too, but, like, I you never have to use it for anything, so that's fine. I haven't even tried to do a female voice in a long time. I wonder if I even could. Probably not. It'd probably just break something in, in my throat if I tried. So I just, I'll avoid that. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything with the episode. Fun stuff. Uh, hopefully next time things can uh, go even better. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoky for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.